Okay, here is my tacky, raggedy, neglected back deck garden. I just have been focused so much on the front. And plus I teach and the semester has started and this is typically what happens in my garden in the fall. Just everything gets neglected. But anyway, um, my chives, of course, keep coming back. Love that. Um, been doing a decent job of topping off my basil, my two basil plants that are back here uh, to keep them from going to seed. I, this kohlrabi um, it's probably going to be a little tough. It needed to have been harvested a while back. Um, my two little cabbage plants that I have in here were slow to head and I couldn't figure out why. And I realized when I put this netting over an old um, broccoli plant that was, um, it had one little offshoot that was um, going to seed, it was dropping some of the, in fact, you can kind of see here, it was dropping some of the uh, flower petals down onto my uh, onto my uh, cabbage. Can't really see. I can't zoom in through this netting, and I don't want to take it off. And any kind of debris like that will stop them from heading. So I cut uh, the little top part off where the side shoot was coming from, and um, now they look like they're getting ready to head. This is my oh god, just um, <laughs> this is my little herb rack and oh it needs attention oh oh it's a mess but I still am able to come out here and find a lot of the things that I need but oh my goodness so much of it has either gone to seed or just needs to be badly um, pruned or oh my goodness anyway so like I said this is this is what happens in the fall in my garden but there's still you know a few things that are thriving some oregano down there, some mint um, in its own little pot. Um, this was some dill that went to seed. Here's some dill here that's still, or actually I think that was cilantro. Um, here's some dill that's going strong. More kohlrabi that just either didn't, never formed a head for some reason. I don't know why. This guy just never quite, he tried. This one just made a little one. Um, say, I don't know. But anyway, the leaves have been good, so um, that's good. Um, under my little shade cloth, and this green stalk, a lot of leafy greens. I'm not going to take the bug uh, cover off. This isn't the green stalk bug insect cover. It's so opaque that sometimes I forget what's under the green stalk insect cover. It's much prettier and um, fits better. But at least this one I can see through it. So a lot of chard and still some kale in here. The kale has been going strong, but it might be about end of life for that. Had a couple of little baby cabbages that aren't doing all that well in here, but whatever. There's some parsnips up top that uh, need to be harvested. Oh man, I, it's depressing to look at. I don't even remember what that is. This was my bean tower. It was so productive. This was a great idea. I'm going to do this every year. But of course, um, end of the semester, obviously I didn't get to a lot of them. It's okay. I'll save these for next year. Um, but for the spring and summer, man, we had green beans coming out of our ears and we love them. Um, so we were steaming green beans, goodness, um, at least weekly, fresh from the garden. And it was um, fantastic. So definitely going to do that again. Um, this was another um, leafy green tower last uh, summer. It was all bok choy. This year I mixed it up with a bunch of other things that are doing okay. Um, but I think next year I'll probably go back to bok choy. We love bok choy. We eat a lot of it. And in order to have enough to cook it the way we like to, I probably really do need to leave this dedicated um, for that. Um, this was uh, man, some more beans in here. I need to, as you can see, you can tell we like green beans. Um, uh, oh man, I need to come in here and take care of business. Mostly beans, there's a cabbage or something in there. I can't remember what I put in there, um, but it looks like some cabbage moth may have gotten in there anyway, even though I put the cover over it. This was um, 
a lemon cucumber. Um, the one of them had volunteered and then it died. It got sick and died. And my kids were eating it, so I went ahead and planted another one. And this one has come on, it's doing pretty well. Of course, now they stop eating it, and that's always the way. Um, some nasturtiums. Uh, let's see, let's go over here. This is my um, butter bush squash. You can see, I have one little baby here. I tried to hand pollinate. Um, because I have no male flowers open on this plant and only one open on another plant that I'll show you soon. So I brought it over here to hand pollinate, but it was so humid that day and the male flower had been open for a while. So I don't know if I was able to, I don't know if he was shooting blanks. We'll see. I don't know if the male flower was able to pollinate. And I need to come in here and take care of some of these leaves, um, these branches. But this is my African Togo plant, which I love. I'll be growing this every every season I mean every summer now yeah. um, they're so cute they're bigger than typical cherry tomato they have this little <laughs> um, navel on the bottom they're adorable I love them and they're really tasty um, so they're such a cute little tomato most of them have like a little um, belly button on the bottom um, but they're they're adorable and I love them um, there was a cabbage in here that didn't make it and more beans that need to be harvested. I desperately need to come out here and harvest and blanch and freeze um, some collards. They're just, oh, I'm, ugh. Anyway, I probably should pull the shade cloth up. It was not so bad for a while, um, but today um, it's gonna be pretty warm. Over here, some more little cabbage, again with some beans. This little cabbage isn't doing that great. This one got attacked by cabbage from bor um, worms. Um, oh, what happened to you? Are you sleeping or did you pass? That's sad. This is my other butterbush squash. Definitely have one that got pollinated here. Um, but this is the one where I took a male flower over to pollinate the other one. Uh, here, this is two cherry tomato plants. We have a Super Sweet 100, which is my all-time favorite cherry tomato. And then also a Sun Gold. And they've been doing well. I cleaned this one off not too long ago to make some cherry tomato confit, a recipe someone on Facebook shared with me. It was really good. That's the lemon cucumber that I said had died, although maybe rumors of its death have been greatly exaggerated because now it seems like it's trying to come back um but down here i have a um over here is another um sun goal it was supposed to be given to someone but they ended up not coming to pick it up so i just tossed it in the backyard which doesn't get much sun you can see all the trees in the back all the way around um, but there's just a little slice that's just enough hours of the day for it to survive. It's not as productive as the ones that get full sun, but it, it's working. Next to it, in this one, in this grow bag, are two um, black plum tomato plants. And I don't see any on there that are ripe. I've been harvesting a lot off of there, so, um, but it's doing well. And there's my, with the little volunteer sunflower I think the squirrels brought for me. I got this plant late in the season. There was a garden center closing down and um, this is a Rutgers tomato plant that um, I got and it's got quite a few on there but they haven't begun to um, turn red. So, But it was free and I've tried to grow Rutgers a few times and the just st stars are aligned against me. Um, once we had mislabeled seeds um, another time we had um, an epic storm that took out, oh my goodness, lots of my plants, including my Rutgers. Um, and then uh, another time I just didn't get good germination, or actually germination, but then dampening off and, and they, they died. So um, I was really glad when I saw that they had the Rutgers tomato plant, so I got it, got it for free, and it is producing. All right. That is my 
tacky little back deck garden. Got to get out here and do some cleanup. Um, yeah, this is really... <sighs> this is sad. <laughs> this spring, it was so beautiful. That's okay. So the way it goes.